My dear Frodo, you asked me once if I had told you everything there was to know about my adventures. It began long ago, in a land far away to the east. There was the city of Dale, peaceful and prosperous. My our king For this city lay before the doors of the greatest kingdom in Middle Earth. Eredin, within the mountain itself, the beauty, the stronghold of Thrall, king under the mountain, mightiest of the dwarf lords. His line lay secure in the lives of his son and grandson. All pay homage to him, even the great elven king, Thranduil. Precious gems hewn from rock, and in great seams of gold, running like rivers through stone. Five minute PB here calling it. Honestly, I have a lot of time. I have so much time to see it in different spots. And again, I'm farming here more because I don't know the II launches. Look at the, uh, the launches save. Oh wow. That's a lot of time save.
like didn't even move. Yeah, I knew you just found a lot of stuff in NLE. Such wanton death was dealt with that day. Uh, I need Ballin. You need to go over here. Yeah. Was it Lost who discovered? Or was it or was it Jack who broke the game open? Cause I knew Lost found a lot of stuff too. when I do that. <laughs> what? Oh, the stupid corner of that chest. going um okay this is my second run my first run was not the greatest uh but that's okay because it was my first run of the category so but i'm about to save a crap ton of time here how are you doing also my game has Minecraft, solid choice there. Oh gosh. My fastest time is 45.59. And we're, yeah, so we're really, we're probably going to beat that by quite a bit. That was good. That, my dear friend. Basically, Paxo and this other dude found buddy up launches and hovers, plus a couple. Other skips. Lost found VSLs, and I found everything else. And Lava Fang found the LFP trigger. The day Jack started mm -hmm. running Lego. And Lost found inside info trigger. Dang. Yeah, we're going for that big speedrunner energy. That's the goal here. It's been crazy to see, cause I started, I was like interested in running this game and even running Lord of the Rings. 
Games history is not very rich. Yeah, I remember starting kind of, I've been following this game since Paxo first started running. Because that was when I was going to run Lord of the Rings. But then I got bottlenecked by FPS based tricks. FPS, FPS based tricks. And so I was like, well, I can't run LOTR. And then by the time I actually was able to get into LOTR, they discovered VSLs. Which ruined me wanting to run LOTR. Because I was getting close to getting a sub 230 in that before VSLs were found. Never done any speedrunning, mostly do a lot of slow running. You know, sometimes that was me up until end of 2017. I had never done a single speed run. And then my brother challenged me to a Banjo Kazooie 100% race. So I learned the speed run. And then I've been speed running ever since. And I still never actually did that race with my brother. Fun fact. I messed that up. I was going at it from a bad angle, so then I went to adjust and it screwed me up. Stood before the sheer f Is that gonna work? Fog. Ugh, I hate how easy it is to just get in the thing. Yeah, no, you you and Jack have done a lot. I think, honestly, you've probably... I would even argue you've done more than Jack. Because you broke a lot of levels and made no levels early. You made this game a lot more interesting to run prior to... That was of the tombs of the nine. Confirmed. Heck, uh prior to the game being broken. So like no levels early is still a good category. Plus you've been dominating the leaderboards for a long freaking time. The abandoned fortress of Dol Guldur was another ain't it now please go break the things you're supposed to break That's the fog skip is right here with the birds, right? I'm so bad at remembering names of skips. Yeah, it's a really cool skip. I'm not gonna worry about learning it for the tournament because it seems uber heckin' difficult. But it looks dope as heck.
did you find in TCS? Because that's impressive, finding something in TCS. Time doesn't save. That's a solid amount of time in TCS. Like, and not just because, like, TCS is short, but because it's so optimized. This could honestly even be more than five minutes.
guys who get it, this is a great speed game. It's nice because it's a, like, as far as a Lego game is concerned, it's one of the shortest. And it's got a lot of really cool tricks, and honestly, restricted any percent is just uber, uber dope. Hey, Pancake. Thanks for blessing the run. I appreciate it. And this is only my second run in this category. And this category is great because it locks the game to 60 FPS. And so you don't need to have a super good rig in order to actually be good at this game. So, restricted any percent means that you're turning VSync on, so your game is locked to 60 FPS. Rather than playing in unrestricted FPS, which is where you um, just play at uh, whatever FPS your computer can do. That was good. Yeah. There's another decent sized time save. But with restricted any percent, it doesn't matter because you the, the FPS based physics that we use don't require anything more than 60. Okay. So now I need to take you, switch you to Dwalin, and Dwalin over here. I, yep, I moved him too late. I literally was over there like, my new, I literally was thinking my new and improved buddy hovers will help me to not make a stupid decision. And then I made a dumb decision. Yeah. Yeah, you'll want to just buy the PC version of this game in order to um, play it, in order to speedrun it. And even with it being limited to FPS, there's still so many cool tricks. Whoops, that just negated any time save from getting camera pan skip. I don't even, I tried to, I remember looking camera pan skip, I don't remember the exact spot I had to avoid, so I might just not worry about it anymore. You have achieved your prouti proudest achievement in gaming, what's that? every crafting item in the third age oh my gosh that grind must have been absolutely disgusting we're losing the light come on ah uh, shoot Ah, I hate spin launches. I actually don't hate them. I think they're super funny. This one's just... Why am I struggling with this one? There we go. Also worth it due to bragging rights. Fair enough. Fair enough. Bragging Break rights are always a solid... Uh, um, thing. I can say I've never done that. Screw ever doing that.
gosh, this was such a huge time save. Between this level and the last level. This game is on Wii U. Wow. That was good. Light of Durin's day. And of the company passed into the mountain through the secret door. I did not come to steal from you. I was smile the unnecessarily wealthy. Oh yeah, no, a lot of it was just taking a break because of the holidays. Not about, you know, actually the stealth part of this. But I'm really bad. I'm really happy to be back. Because I always miss it so much. Truly. The tales and the songs. Fall utterly short. Of your enormity, oh Smaug, the stupendous. Do you think flattery will keep you alive? No, no. No, indeed. You started as an Xbox One runner, right? You seem familiar. Remember smelling your kind before. Who and where do you come from? May I ask? I come from under the hill. Under hill. And under hills and over hills, my path is led. And my friend. I am. Yo, Pancake, thank you so much for the resub. Go on. Barrel rider. That's fair. Now that is interesting. And now you basically the best. Chiefest and greatest of calamities. Nice manners. So tomorrow we'll be learning. Lego game in under five minutes. That's true. You are the first person to do that with Lego Batman Three. No, no, no. What you talking about? They are coming. Yo, cleansing rain with the raid. Thank you so much, my guy. I really appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. My name is Zojalix. I'm the newest member of Seraphim Esports, and we are doing a Lego The Hobbit restricted any percent speedrun. Favorite game to speedrun? That would have to be The Lord of the Rings The Two Towers. That is my favorite game. Totally. Uh, yeah, but I primarily speedrun Lord of the Rings games, and I'm going to be competing in a, um, what's my PB in it? I have the world record with 4850. If you do exclamation point world record, it will link you to my video. It will lead. It will link you to my PB video. I was just saying. So, exclamation point WR. Truly, you have no equal. Oh, never mind. Maybe I changed it. Whoops. Um, crap. Yeah, but I speedrun it on GameCube because it's faster. Hey, Pancake, because I know you probably can get it. The Arkenstone. Fastest. Could you post that link in chat? The path's not gonna work. These furnaces are stone cold. The 
No fire hot enough to set them ablaze. Have we not? I did not look to see you so easily outwitted! You have grown slow and fat. The, um, Lord of the Rings, Slug. the two towers, my 4858, off the Go! I have done Lord of the Rings Conquest in the past. I haven't recently. My plan is to come back to it eventually, though. Get those pedals working! Go! Because it's a really good game. I really like it. I have played Lord of the Rings online, I have not seen it. Speedrun and MMORPG by speedrunning um, how fast you can reach certain levels. And then you can also, RPGs do have main quest lines. And so sometimes people will speedrun those. I know some people have done speedruns. Like, I used to speedrun uh, Star Wars Rules of Public. I did a level 1 to 10, as well as some of the class missions on there. Bumba. Star Wars The Old Republic is a pretty crazy speedrun. Like, they get to level 10 in, like, under 10 minutes. It's absolutely insane. And that's without EX... No, they do it in over 10 minutes, but it's under 10 minutes with EXP boosting. Sometimes I will stream some Star Wars Zero The Public because it's a super fun game. I absolutely love it. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do this. Yo, Cleansing Rain with the sub. Thank you so much. Welcome to the fellowship and I really hope you enjoy your email. You can use all across twitch.tv all for the next 30 days. Okay, we're gonna do a spin launch here, even though it's not the greatest. So there, right there, chat is my Lord of the Rings and Two Towers world record. Okay, so that's why I need to get around this without falling. Cool. Bilbo needs to bring on, and again, we need to do all of this without falling. That's terrifying. You use the sound alert from Lord of the Rings? Yo, that's amazing. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy my sound alert. Which one do you use? Certainty of death, small chance of success. What are we waiting for? I love that. I love that. That's so good. Can you still make a flash flame? Uh, yeah, I did a uh, marathon yes, uh, Saturday. Oh, crap, I, did. I did a marathon on Saturday with my mom before I went back to college for the semester. We're actually coming up to the end of the run, and then I'm going to do a Lord of the Rings and Return of the King any percent run. Oh, I missed. I missed. I don't know, Lego 100%? No, I 
do not have the time for LEGO 100%. Because those, some of those runs are super, super, super long. Okay, so what I need to do is move some stuff out of the way. Bobo needs to be on this side, right? And then we're gonna... Oh, wait, no. Bobo needs to be on this side. Come on, get over there. I can't remember. No. No, because I tried to put Nori here. Bilbo on the right. You right. Okay, so what we're doing here is like a pretty pixel perfect launch. Like, we have to be on the exact spot with both players. And I'm controlling both players, by the way. Because what we're gonna do, if I can get it, and it's really heckin' hard. Honestly though, that's the struggle. Learning games is always the hardest part. Ugh. 